Welcome to the Tech Byte. Today I am starting another season of mid-range builds and first episode covers $700 gaming PC build. So let's get started. You've decided you want in on PC gaming, and you want to do so at a level where you thrash console performance and enjoy all the platform has to offer. We present the best $700 gaming PC. With it, you'll be able to enjoy all your games maxed out at 1080p. First one on the list is Intel Core i5-8400 desktop processor. The i5-8400 is the best mid-range gaming CPU on the market, thanks to its stellar single-core performance and strong overall performance. Unlike past-generation i5 processors, the 8400 also supports hyper-threading, allowing it to offer an unprecedented 12 threads in an i5 processor. Overall, this should provide all the gaming performance you need, as well as acceptable streaming and video rendering performance. However, you won't be able to overclock, and the heaviest CPU tasks might strain your system. The RX 580 is our pick for the best gaming PC build under $700 thanks to its strong performance, beating out the GTX 1063GB and trading blows with the 1066GB, the RX 580 is the perfect pick for 1080p and 1440p gaming, as well as VR gaming. The version in this build is the 4GB version, but it's still the best GPU in this price range period. If you're tired of compromising on RAM, don't worry, with 8GB of dual-channel DDR4 RAM running at 2400MHz, you aren't doing that anymore. For most multitasking and gaming scenarios, this will be more than enough for your needs. Since it's manufactured by a reputable vendor, Patriot, you can also trust that it will last for years to come without giving you any issues. The Hitachi Ultra to 2 terabytes HDD offers great price per gigabyte and is the best value HDD in this range. We can't afford an SSD yet, so you're going to have to be content with a hard drive as your primary storage device, but truth be told this won't actually hurt your overall experience. If you need some degree of speed, though, consider adding an SSD to this build. In addition to being amazing at keyboards and everything else they do, Corsair also makes some pretty stellar power supplies. We've included one of their modular power supplies in this unit, meaning that in addition to high build quality and reliable operation, you'll also get a much easier build process. If you look at some of our cheaper builds, you may notice that they don't have this modularity. Unfortunately, Rising prices have made modular PSUs much more of a luxury than they used to be in PC gaming. While people put a lot of stock into high-end, gaming motherboards, the truth is your motherboard usually isn't going to be the determining factor on whether or not you can make the most of your components. This entry-level motherboard from Gigabyte may not provide overclocking capabilities, but neither does the CPU we're including in this build so you're not really losing anything. Last one on the list is Corsair Carbide Spec 04 Mid-Tower Gaming Case. Corsair's an amazing all-around hardware manufacturer, and their cases are no different. The Spec 04 has great build quality, a sleek aesthetic and comes with one integrated case fan. If you can't afford to grab another fan yet, Use it as an exhaust fan until you can grab one of our recommended fan upgrades which link will be provided in the description box. Fan shortage aside, this is still a stellar case that should look good in most environments and provide the airflow and cooling you're looking for. Why is this the best $700 gaming PC? This is where you start to really enjoy games without worrying about your ability to handle it especially at 1080p. You should be able to push up to 60 frames per second on just about everything, and with some settings adjustments you may even be able to push 144hz in certain games. The power of the i5 in this build, alongside the RX 580, means you have all the power you need to tackle gaming at 1080p Ultra, 1440p Medium and even VR. 
The i5 also ensures that you won't have to worry about performance bottlenecks if or when you upgrade your GPU to something like the Vega 64 or 1070T. What games can this PC run? Fortnite, 1080p-60 and 1440p-60 should both be possible, but you will need to turn down settings for the latter. PUBG should be able to push 1080p-60 at high settings on this machine, but 1440p will require some compromises. MHW should do quite well at 1080p and high settings, but 1440p60 will require some tweaking to work properly. League of Legends is a lightweight esports title, so pushing 1440p60 or 1080p144 should be easy as pie. Overwatch. Ultra settings at 1440p should net at least 60 fps on average, but if you want higher frames, turn settings down and go down to 1080p. Siege should be easy to pay at 1440p and high settings, with around 60-70 fps. 1080p will be much more stable, though. Warframe should be fine with 1440p and 1080p at high settings at 1080p. You might even push 144 fps. Grand Theft Auto V is playable at 1440p medium settings and 1080p high. Max settings. Team Fortress 2 is a CPU heavy title. But this build is more than well equipped to handle it. 1080p should be a breeze, and with the right settings should even push 144hz. 1440p at 60fps shouldn't be a problem, either. That's it from first episode of Midrange Gaming PC Build Up. If you like this video then hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe and bell icon so that when second episode comes out on the channel you will get notification as well.